What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert, AKA Pretty Boy Rob, and we got March Premium here. Making his official debut on Shoe Care Academy. How you feeling, bro? Feeling good, man. Let's get right into it. We have an intense project. Talk to us about it. So we got the Jordan 5s with the icy soles. Definitely a hard pair to on yellow. We got the Jordan 13s with the rubber pods and the Jordan 12s with the rubber outsoles. Man, all these things are looking cooked. Are you sure our soul vibe is gonna bring these things back to life? I'm confident. Well, I got faith in you and I got faith in our product. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, Mark, since this is your first episode of Shoe Care Academy, let's just break down a little how we do things as well as if this is your first video ever watching. We only clean or do one shoe for before and after purposes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab our right shoe and set those aside. I know at the beginning you did say those Oreo 5s were gonna be the most challenging, correct? Yes, sir, the icy bottom. Well, what's gonna be the most easiest one? Probably the Jordan 12s. All right, well, I guess I'll do this one. A little fun fact, I have never done Soul Revive in my life. So this is like you can say, how to apply Soul Revive for dummies. Since I've never done this by default, you're stuck with both the two. I'm gonna be doing this one. We can get started, but let's go ahead and talk about what we need to get this done. So first and foremost, you're gonna need Soul Revive. To apply Soul Revive, you're gonna need a paintbrush. Got that. As well as Saran Wrap. This is gonna keep the Soul Revive fresh while in the UV setup. And gloves to protect your hands from any harsh chemicals. We got those as well. All right, looks like we have all of our products ready. Let's talk about how we gonna get this thing started. What's the first step? Let's get started, throw some gloves on, get the Soul Revive cracking and we'll apply it to the rubber portions of the sneakers. All right, we got all the tools we need to start this sole revive process. However, before we get started, what's the first thing we gotta do to this outsole? You wanna make sure you scrub it with a stiff brush and solution. So if you don't got your essential kit, make sure you get that, or even a signature kit. All of our kits are gonna come with all three of our brushes, so you'll be straight. However, off camera, we went ahead and scrubbed these shoes, made sure they were good to go, so we can get straight into applying it. What's the first step? So the first step is you want to figure out what you're going to be icing and what you're not. You're going to want to stay away from any premium materials or anything that is not hard rubber. So essentially, you don't want to put it on the leather upper, suede, mesh, any only the yellow surface? Yes, sir. So not the traction areas. You're going to want to avoid any colored areas or anything that is not white rubber. All right, so specifically for this sneaker, what I'm going to be oxidizing is essentially just the yellow rubber. Gonna avoid this traction area, avoiding the red jump man, as well as these inner panels, correct? Yes, sir. What about for that 13? This 13, you wanna be very careful. The suede touches the rubber panels. You do not wanna get any soul revive on that whatsoever. Mm -mm. And on these Jordan 5s, there is no rubber um, touching the suede, but you wanna be careful with the painted midsole. No soul revive on that. Okay, cool. So, appreciate you dropping those gems. Essentially, we could get started, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so we got those Oreo 5s hanging out over there. You did say that was gonna be the most challenging one, so let's talk about that. Yeah, so you do got the icy bottoms, which is gonna take a lot more sessions versus the rubber. So, not that it's harder, it's just more tedious, it's gonna take a little more time. Exactly. All righty, with all that being said, essentially, we can get straight to applying it, correct? Yes, sir. Well, break down that process. How are we gonna do it? You're gonna get the Soul Revive and apply it to the rubber portions that you want to on yellow and cover it with Saran Wrap. Cool, I got mine. I got do mine. You, do you got yours? All right, I'm still a little nervous again. I've never done this before. So why don't you start it off and show us how it's done? Now that we got a clean surface to work with, we're gonna be applying it to the rubber portions of the sneaker. So Mark, it looks like you're applying uh, some light even coat to that shoe but how much Soul Revive do you actually have to apply? So if you're gonna want a thin coat, you're gonna wanna keep in consideration that it is a liquid and it will turn into condensation in the UV setup, a very thin coat that's evenly distributed. So how many coats would you say, just one? One per session. One coat per session, and for this shoe, how many sessions do you think this one will take in the light box? One 12 hour session. One 12 hour session, that's gonna work on these pods. How about, this 12 right here. We we'll probably want two 12 hour sessions just to be safe. A lot of the yellowing does clear up in the first session, but you might see a little bit afterwards. All right, well, I think I got what to do. I'm just gonna apply my Soul Revive all over this sneaker. While you're working on that one, I'm just gonna hop on this one. Good luck, don't mess up. It's gonna come out of your check. Man, I think mine's about to look better than yours. How's it going over there? I don't know, bro. I'm concerned. Legitimately. What you got going Whoa, on over there, man? What you mean? What am I doing wrong? 
couple of things. You 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 don't want to spread it. You want to tap it to where it kind of spreads it evenly versus okay. So more like tap, yeah. tapping rather than stroking. Yeah, so it's kind of s distributes it a little bit more evenly. And then just put some more on your brush and you're gonna wanna avoid any colored rubber areas. You could go back and wipe it off. A little bit is not gonna kill it and it's only gonna be in there 12 hours. But if you are doing a icy bottom that has colored rubbers, you're not gonna wanna keep it in there for more than 24 hours. It is gonna start causing negative effects. Thanks for the info, I'll work on that right now. All right, now that we applied Soul Revive to the soles of the sneakers, we are gonna apply plastic wrap to prevent the Soul Revive from drying out. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit of plastic wrap, enough to cover up the sole of the sneaker. Just place the Jordan face down, cover it, make sure the saran wrap sticks to itself so it don't go nowhere. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now that we're all done with the playoffs, we're gonna get the Jordan 13s and wrap them up. Now we're all done with these, we're gonna be moving on to these Jordan 5s. However, I did mention earlier, this is gonna be more of a prolonged process. We are dealing with a translucent sole, which can be a little bit more time consuming. And for that reason, we're gonna be applying less Soul Revive for longer periods of time. So let's get to it. Now that we're all done applying Soul Revive to the Jordan 5s, wrap it up to the light box. We're gonna be leaving them in here while monitoring them until we get the desired results. Yo, 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 you finished? Yes, sir, first session of many. Hey man, well that meeting was very important. I definitely appreciate you holding it no down. What are, what's the like next steps are we working on? Yeah, so we're just gonna repeat the process that we just did um, about two to three times for a couple of them and we'll see where we're at from there. So we're pretty much it right for right now? Yep. Right now, right now? Yep, we're good. We're gonna leave them in there for about 12 hours. We'll check on it every couple hours. All right then, well, we'll see y'all in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We got all three sneakers in front of us. They are deoxidized. We're gonna have Mark break down how we got these results, starting with the 13s. We started with these Jordan 13s. Definitely got great results. Yes, we, we did a total of one 12 hour session. Okay, so a cool little day project for those? Yeah, so it did go in there throughout the day. By the end of the day, they were out. Um, same with this one. Um, by the end of the day, we did do one more session. That was a total of two 12 hour sessions. In between sessions, you do wanna make sure you are reapplying Soul Revive. Yep, these things are ready for playoffs. Give it to them, last but not least. We have these Jordan 5s with the translucent soles. Definitely a little bit more of a tedious process. It took six 24 hour sessions, you do wanna make sure you are monitoring the sneakers every 12 hours to ensure no soul revive drips onto the delicate uppers. I do wanna mention though, we achieved these results using our indoor setup, the Vic 2000. However, the average person's probably not gonna have this, correct? Yeah, so if you don't have the indoor setup, you can use the sun, which is another option because it does have UV rays. You just wanna make sure you do it correctly and less sessions. Yup, yup. However, if you do wanna build your own very own indoor setup, you go to rejuvenator.com, hit the tab that says VIX tools, and we got it listed out in a little Amazon affiliate tab that builds out all the steps to make that proper indoor setup. But if you don't wanna build that setup, Mark, tell them what else they can do. You guys can also get your shoes shipped in to get taken care of by our shoe care professionals, whether it's a clean or an on yellowing, we got you. I know that's right, but quick question for you, boss. If they're gonna send their shoes in to get Soul Revived, typically how long is that process? As we saw, this one took 24 hours, this one took maybe 48 hours, and this one took a lot longer. So on an average, what does that turnaround time? It honestly just depends on make, model, and condition. Um, it definitely does vary. You will get a consultation, whether that is email or a phone call. So with that being said, it can take anywhere from one to two weeks, just depending on how yellow your sneakers actually are. We will definitely keep you posted. 
Again, if it does go over that two weeks, our customer service team will be contacting you and letting you know step-by-step step where your shoes are in the Soul Revive process. It is about time for us to bounce, but before we dip, I gotta give some love to Mark. How long you been with the company? Been with the company a little under a year now. Under a year, but I gotta give him his flowers, man. This dude is low key like Vic's protege. Yeah, definitely look up to Vic. He's definitely a great inspiration in the sneaker restoration game. A lot of great customs have came from him. Why don't you give us one fun fact about yourself, dog? One fun fact about myself, I started with the Rejuvenator Executive Club. If you're not sure what the Executive Club is, it is a business in a box. It's everything you need to create your own brand powered by Rejuvenator. Essentially, you will receive all of the cleaning equipment to start your own cleaning company. So basically, you started watching the channel and now you're on the channel? Yeah, I came a long way from behind the screen, now I'm in front of the camera. It's a big difference. Full circle moment from my man, Mark Premiums. Make sure you guys show him some love in the comments down below. Let us know if you wanna see him some more. I mean, again, he's Vic's protege. So these shoes, we just so revived them. They may need some love. If you guys wanna see Mark Premiums put his premium touch on these fives, the twelves, or even the 13s, let us know in the comment section down below. But with all that being said, it is time for us to bounce. My name's Pretty Boy Rob. We got Mark's Premium. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibe, we out. Deuces. Deuces.